I was actually thinking about inspiration yesterday, I believe, and it just occurred to me, I almost never award inspiration. And then I was thinking, I was like, you know, a couple years ago, I awarded inspiration all the time. And what changed? And I was like, oh yeah, I forget. Would you like two massive hardcover books stuffed full of Dungeon Master resources? More than 25 adventures spanning levels one to 15, over 100 new monsters, magic items, traps, puzzles, NPCs, villains, and amazing custom artwork throughout both books to inspire your gameplay. If so, Layers and Legends pre-orders are now available. Did you miss the Kickstarter? Do you still want to get your loots? Just click the link below and look for the big green pre-order button. The truth is, is that I forget to award ins for inspiration constantly, all the time. And then every so often during a game, I'll just be like, oh, I should give people inspiration. Because usually because somebody did some really fine role playing and I'll be like, oh, I should give them inspiration. And then I'll be like, well, I haven't given inspiration out at all recently. Well, they did some good role playing. Yeah, okay. And this is all in my brain, right? They did, and they did too, and then, oh yeah, they did too, and then, oh, I don't, I don't know if that guy did, but if I give ever, if I give like everybody but that person inspiration, I'm gonna feel really bad. Okay, okay, everybody gets inspiration. That was great role playing. I love this, and I haven't given it out for everybody gets inspiration. Please take inspiration, and then everybody gets inspiration, and then like you know, three months will go by, and I'll forget to do it. I give out inspiration when you are role playing your character. Specifically, if you're role playing things that align with there are like four different categories that you pick for your character. I always forget the names of them, but it's like an ideal. It's a bond. There's a flaw. And then there's another one in there that I forget. But if you are role playing any of those characteristics in your character and it doesn't I'm not talking when, when I say role play, I am not talking about the talky talky part. That's not role play. That is a part of role playing, but that's not all that role playing is. Role playing is the entire game of running your character, whether you're in battle or whether you're having a social interaction with someone. So let's be clear what I mean by role playing. But if you are role playing your character, any of those things, the ideal, the bond, the flaw, those categories that I mentioned, any of those sorts of role playing, whether it's in combat, whether it's exploration, like you might have a flaw that says, when I see something that's not nailed down, I can't, I have to steal it. So you could be sneaking around or something and you know, there's like a shopkeeper that left his coin purse or something on the table and you are like, I have to take it. And all of your other players are like, don't do it, you crazy. And he's like, I can't help it, it's my flaw. And he takes it, right? That's, that's role playing your character. And so you could get inspiration for that. I also, if there's something from your backstory that you are bringing up in role playing, I have some players that are very good about thinking about the emotions that their characters are experiencing in a certain situation. And they'll get inside their characters' heads and then explain like, you know, uh, I'm gonna pick on Kasim because I think he's a pretty good example of this, but Kasim will be like, oh man, this is really like, trigger me right now. And so Kasim is just really, X, Y, and Z emotions, you know, and stuff. And he'll he'll explain that, you know. He's not, I mean, it doesn't have to be like a crazy verbose 20 minute explanation of your feelings. That doesn't interest me as much as a couple sentences. Boom, there you go. Hey, we're role playing, great. Inspiration, thank you, have a nice day. So I look for those things, any of those characteristics, ideal bond flaws, and the, and the other one I'm forgetting, if you're role playing things from your backstory, if you're if it could be in combat and role playing the other category that I give inspiration for as well that is not and, and all those things that I just mentioned those are things that are mostly straight out of the dungeon master guide out of the book those are things that are recommended for you to give inspiration for the one thing I would say that I give inspiration for that probably I don't think is in the rules is just simply making everybody laugh, giving the group a fun little moment, whatever it happens to be. It could be your character does something awesome. It could be that you as a player 
make a funny joke and we all laugh our butts off and we have a wonderful time and the whole atmosphere is lifted and we're all just feel good. I'll give inspiration for that because you are improving the game experience for everybody at the game table. You made us laugh. We joked. We had fun, right? We feel that camaraderie, all that good stuff that comes from an RPG. So if you do that, that is also something that I give out inspiration for. Now, I do have this thing where you are allowed to have more than just one inspiration point. I let you stockpile up to three inspiration points in my games, and then you can use them whenever you want. The reason that I do this is that I have found that when you can only have one inspiration point, that players usually never use it because they're always trying to save it for like the really important time. And so they like never use it. And then if I'm awarding, if I remember to reward inspiration and I'm giving out inspiration, a lot of the players will just be like, oh, I already have it, I already have it. There's no point, there's no point. But if you can stockpile it and get up to three of them, they feel a little bit more willing to use their inspiration and spend it because they know they might have two already or they might be full of three and they can get rid of one and they, they can use them and still keep one in reserve for the really important saving throw against the polymorph spell or banishment or something horrible that's going to ruin your day. And that's the that's the main reason that I let pl players stockpile three so they feel like they can actually use them and they're not just hoarding it forever. Click on the screen now to watch another fine DM layer video or to pre-order our Layers and Legends Kickstarter and get yourself two gorgeous hardcover books filled with fifth edition DM resources.